Hello, my name is James McBrayer and I'm an Everybody Active Coach for Live Active NI and Disability Sport Anime. Today I'm going to take you through some drills that you can do to stay active at home. The drills can be done either sitting down or standing up, depending on your ability. The equipment that you need is simply a ball. It can be a rugby ball, a football, a basketball, it can be a small tennis ball, right? or even a water bottle, empty or full up, just so you can get something to grip and grab and hold on to and move around. The first drill will be nice and simple, simply engaging our core, holding the ball in one hand and we're going to work on our grip strength. Okay, So we're passing the ball from one hand to the other. Okay, and Keep it small, keep the gap nice and small to start with, widen out our hands so we have a good surface area to catch the ball. And we're just going to do five of those off each hand. Right, making sure that we're keeping our eye on the ball and having our hands outstretched okay, to have a good grip. From then, if you want to progress it on, just going to go a little bit wider. Again, keeping your eye on the ball. Got a nice wide hands, all right, making sure we've got a good surface area and a target area to pass into. And getting that good grip strength using our fingers, our forearms and our hands. Okay? Again, we're going to go with five each side. And again, after that, I want to progress it on even wider again. Okay, if you're comfortable widening it out, perfect. If you're not with that, we're going to bring it down even closer. We're going to just do small grips or even like a waterfall effect, simply dropping the ball from one hand into the other and placing our hand down here. Okay, still working on our grip strength, getting the grip of the ball and holding on to it and keeping your eye on the ball. Okay, so back to a nice wide stance. And again, five off each hand. Engaging our core in here. All right. Making sure we're keeping our eye on the ball, All right, we're getting a good grip and grabbing the ball each time. Okay, from there, we're going to work on, again, warming up our shoulders, going with a straight arm, okay, out to the side. If you're able to, we're going to bring the ball round to the middle line of the body, bringing our left hand out, taking the ball, getting a good grip strength, again, moving it across here. Okay, once you're bringing it into the middle, you can have your hand underneath if it's easier to hold the ball, okay? Or to really work on our grip strength and our arms and our shoulders, have the hand on top. Alright, keeping our arm nice and straight, core engaged, shoulders back, and again we're going to go 10 with that. 5 from this side, 5 to the other side. Okay, from here, hopefully you have a bit more of a warm-up in your shoulders, okay, and the blood's flowing in the upper body. From here, we're going to bring our right hand with the ball and just touch our left shoulder. Okay, nice and simple. Again, hopefully warming up our arms, all right, making sure we're moving them. From here, just want you to bring it down, transfer the ball to the other hand, and touch your other shoulder. Okay, so we're getting a bit of a figure of eight drill, all right, and just moving our upper body, and again, engaging our core. Okay, five of those each side. Keep it nice and smooth. If five's too many, all right, you can do a few less. If you're happy to do more, then do more, okay, that you're comfortable with, okay. But try not to do too many where your form goes or we drop the ball or anything else and we'll tie ourselves out for the rest of it. Okay, from here again, we're going to do the exact same drill, but instead of touching our shoulders, we're touching our alternative knee, okay. So right hand to left knee. Transferring the ball over with our left hand to touch our right knee. Again, five of those each side, okay, engaging your core, keeping your eye on the ball. All right, good grip strength as well, squeezing the ball, squeezing the object that we'll have in our hand. All right, and transferring it across. Okay, hopefully your upper body's nice and warm, a bit loose as well, all right, now we're moving around. We're going to engage a bit of our lower body, all right, simply by bouncing the ball on our leg. As we bounce the ball on the leg, I want you to lift. Alright, so push your toe down to the ground, alright, so we'll raise our knee a bit off, or raise our knee to meet the ball. Okay, so that should hopefully put a bit of momentum into the ball to bounce it, okay, so we can catch it again as well. Alright, five off the left side, and then five off the right. Okay, so we're raising our leg up towards the ball, which is hopefully working our calves, alright, 
and our thighs as well whenever we're making, meet, meeting the ball, whenever we're dropping it down to bounce on. Keeping our eye on the ball and reacting to where it goes. Okay, if that's too much, all right, we're going to simply keep our feet still and we can just bounce the ball on our knee without making sure we're catching it again as well. Okay, and again, the same rep range, five each time. Okay, five too many, go a few less. Or if you want to go more, go a few more. Okay, from there, hopefully we're warmed up. Our lower body warmed up and our upper body. All right, now we're going to work on, again, just advancing the drills a wee bit more. Okay, so this time, ball on two hands to start with. And we're going to put the ball around your head. Okay, we can go with one hand around, catch it again the other side, bringing it around here. Okay, if you're happy to do that, we can do that. If you're not and you want to keep two hands on the ball, just imagine you're drawing a circle on the top of your head like a crown. Okay, and we're just bringing the ball around. All right, so that's hopefully working on our shoulders, working our traps and our back as well, and a wee bit around our neck. Okay, we're going to go five of those. All right, going one way, going the same way. And then we're going to go backwards again. Okay, so we're going the other way as well. Bringing the ball down. Now we're going to use our lower body. All right, we're going to transfer the ball around one leg. Okay, so we can either pass the ball from one hand under our leg to the other hand. Okay, if we're comfortable with that. If we're not, we can try bring it down to your shin, and we can roll the ball around our shin behind our calf and back to the front again. Okay. And if that's too difficult, if we have problems with mobility when we're moving down, again, just work on the bounce of our leg, okay? Bouncing the ball on our knee, trying to move that leg up and down a wee bit just to get a bit of blood flow in it and get it moving around. Okay, so we're going to go five on the left leg, five on the right leg. Keeping our eye on the ball, all right, that'll hopefully, that'll hopefully warm up our lower back as well. All right, working on our shoulders, all right, and getting our good flexibility. As we're able to do it. Okay, last drill of this of this bit. All right, we're just going to throw the ball up in the air and catch it. Okay, all right, a nice short throw to start with. All right, just so we keep our eye on the ball, working our reactions and our hand-eye coordination. Okay, again, widening our fingers out, making sure we're getting that good grip strength to catch the ball again, and keeping our eye on the ball. Okay, five of those. And then we're going to go a little bit higher to progress the drill. And again, all right, eye on the ball, core engaged, making sure we're in a good upright position and a posture, and catching the ball. All right, from then, we're going to progress it on even more, where we throw the ball up in the air. As the ball's up in the air, we're going to try and put a clap in between. Okay, so clap our hands before we catch the ball. Okay, so we're going to do five of those, keeping our eye on the ball and trusting that our hands are going to be underneath to catch it. Okay, again, to progress that on, we're going to do more claps. Okay, or to regress it again, simply, if we're not comfortable throwing the ball up in the air. All right, we can just move it up, nice short through. Okay, simple as that. So we'll go up higher and get a few claps in. Okay, and try and beat your last score if you can. All right, and back down. Okay, the last exercises of today, all right, we're going to work a wee bit on our memory as well as what we've just worked on. So we're going to ask you to do two of each, okay, so it's going to be two around your head, two under your leg, and two throws up in the air with a clap, okay? Right. One, two, under your leg, one, opposite leg, two, the ball up in the air, clap. Okay, we can repeat that a few times if you're comfortable with it, okay, or we can regress it down to the exercise that we've just shown. So after we've performed a ball familiarization warm-up, right, we're going to then advance the exercises on, okay, and do five different exercises, still from a seated position, then after we've finished with our seated position, we're going to move on to do some exercises standing and some exercises moving. If you're comfortable with that, brilliant, if not, we can still stay seated. And repeat the exercises. Okay, so from a seated position, now that hopefully after a warm up, we're a bit looser, 
bit more warmed up and a bit subtle ready to go, okay? The first exercise is just simply placing the ball at your feet, okay? It's just going to be a pick up and collect, alright? We set the ball down, alright? Lift the ball here, okay? As we're already warmed up, we're going to intensify the exercise by doing as many as we can for 60 seconds. So if you've got a stopwatch or a clock on the wall, all right, simply time yourself for 60 seconds and see how many you can do. All you have to do is set the ball down, pick the ball up, bring it into your chest. Okay, setting it down, picking it up again. All right, so we're going to do that for 60 seconds and then we're going to move on to the next exercise. Making sure again we're working on our grip, all right? Hands outstretched, nice and wide, with plenty of surface area to pick the ball up, bringing the ball in close to our chest as well, okay? Working on hopefully exercising our lower back, again our shoulders and our arms, and working on that grip strength that we just mentioned. All right, 60 seconds. All right, it's a competition if you've got someone else in the house. All right, certainly go for 60 seconds, see how many you can do, and then let them compete against your score, okay? Or you can go for as many as you want for 60 seconds, have a rest, and then go again and see if you can beat that score. Alright, so that's the first exercise, okay, and we're going for 60 seconds on it, as many reps as you can. The next exercise, we're going to try and touch the sky. Okay, so ball in two hands again, and we're just reaching as high as we can with the ball. Alright, simply by trying to touch the sky, and bringing the ball back down here again. Okay, again, the same exercise we've just done. We're going to do for 60 seconds, as many reps as we can. Alright, keep that score, try and beat it or compete against someone else. If we're finding that a simple exercise, again we can transform it and make it a wee bit harder. Go with one hand, okay? Stretch it out. All right, or if you have mobility issues, it stops you using both arms. You maybe only got one arm, to, one arm working. Nick is, is happy to do it. Just use one arm. We can try and see as far as we can go with the other one. It does not be fully outstretched. If we can only move to here, that's fine. But we're still trying to do as many reps as we can for 60 seconds. Okay, after that, again, our exercise that we've just done in our previous warm up. All right, we're going to go ball around your head. All right, just like we've done, we go once anti-clockwise and once clockwise, okay? We're going to continue that again for 60 seconds, see how many reps we can do, all right? If you get dizzy, you can stop, set the ball down, recover, and go again, okay? Again, if your back isn't up against the back of the sofa and you've got a bit of room, all right, we can try another exercise as well. We can go around the waist, all right? But first of all, we're going to go around your head for 60 seconds, all right, and see how many reps we can do. And then we'll keep the score from there. Okay, so it's nice and simple. Going around here, bring it back round to our hand at the front. And just passing our head round. Okay. Again, keeping our grip strength, squeezing that ball as well while we've got it. Okay, making sure it doesn't drop, and making sure we're in full control of the ball. Okay, so again, as many as you can for 60 seconds. All right, after each exercise, you can rest, right, get a drink of water, whatever you need to be able to do the next exercise to the best of your ability. Okay, as mentioned before, if you're not up against the back of a seat, okay, and you've got room and you're able to hold yourself up with a strong core, we're going to try and put the ball around your waist, okay, for as many reps as we can. Again, you can go one way, whatever's comfortable, or you can add a wee bit of difficulty in it, change direction as you go. Okay, so around your waist, all right, for 60 seconds, going as fast as we can, with as much control as we can as well, all right, so we don't drop the ball, okay, so we'll rotate around the other way as well, all right, working on our, keeping our core nice and strong, all right, working on our shoulders and arms as we're holding on to the ball, okay, and rotating each time. After this exercise, we're going to work down again, putting the ball under our leg. Okay, well, like we've done before in the warm-up, it can be a figure of eight, or if you're comfortable with just one leg, then just put the ball around that leg. Okay, but again, 
See as before, it's as many as we can within 60 seconds, okay? Again, focusing on that grip strength, holding on to the ball, all right, keeping our eye on the ball, as much control as we can. Last exercise of this bit, okay, just what we finished on the last warm up is throwing the ball up in the air, okay. We can put a clap in as well, alright, but again, we're working on as many as we can for 60 seconds, okay, so make sure we're nice and controlled so we're not dropping the ball, letting it roll away, breaking any furniture or anything else that's in the area, okay, so nice and simple. Keeping our eye on the ball. Spreading our hands nice and wide to make sure we've got a good surface area to catch the ball again. Okay, keeping it nice and controlled. Alright, our core and our posture nice and strong as well. So we're getting as many catches as we can for 60 seconds. Okay. So that finishes that exercise of sitting down. Okay, if you're comfortable. And you're, you trust yourself, okay, to be able to stand up and move, all right, then these parts are the next bit for you, okay. So, we're going to stand up, all right, first of all, just keeping control, okay, we're not moving anywhere, we're just standing, okay. So, we've just do, done the exercise before in a seated, seated position, now we're going to do them from standing. So, the first exercise we did was picking up off the floor, we're just going to do the same again, but now we're standing up. Okay, so we're setting the ball down, all right, we're bent down to pick it up again, okay. Bringing the ball in nice and close to the chest. Make sure we're nice and comfortable. All right, we've got a good stance as well. So we're not off balance. All right, picking the ball up with one hand if you're comfortable. All right, we're gonna get down there for two. We'll get us a bit of extra a stretch as we're reaching down for the ball. Okay, after that, again, we're testing ourselves for 60 seconds, okay, to see how many we can do. Again, if we've got a partner or whoever else is in the house with us, definitely race against each other or in a relay, I do as many as I can and then they do as many as they can as well. Okay, so from here, all right, after an extra, we'll go on to touch the sky. Okay, holding the ball in the middle, we're just trying to touch the sky as we can, okay. And again, that's for 60 seconds. Now we're going to join those two together and we're going to pick it up from the floor and stretch as far as we can. Okay, so we're setting the ball down, picking it up, stretching as much as we can, bringing the ball back down, setting the ball to the floor. Okay. Use two hands, okay, if we're comfortable to work with one, all right, work with one for a while, then change it over and use the other hand as well, okay. All right, working again for 60 seconds, seeing how many we can get, all right, and competing either against herself or against someone else. After that, we're working with around your waist, okay, trying to get as much control with the ball, all right, and getting the ball around your waist as quick as you can and as smoothly as you can. Okay? If you've got enough space in the house, you can swing the ball around, get a good grip on it, or we can roll the ball around too if we need to. Alright, if we're more comfortable with that. Again, 
can work both sides if you're happy. If you've got a favorite side to work around, that's fine. If not, uh, definitely try both sides just to see. So we're testing both ways as we go. Okay, again, do as many as we can for 60 seconds. Keep our core nice and tight. All right, bringing our other hand round to meet the ball. All right, so we're getting a nice quick changeover and getting the ball moving as fast as we can. And keep it nice and smooth as well. All right, again, good grip strength. Hands nice and wide, increasing our surface area to get a good grip of the ball. And again for 60 seconds. Now we're going to work on putting the ball around your leg. Okay, if we're comfortable with that, all right, certainly make it a bit easier. Get a staggered stance, okay, so one foot out in front of the other. Then we can simply work with putting the ball around one leg. Okay, we can do that for the 30 seconds, and then we can cross, change legs, and we'll work that for the next 30 seconds. Okay, or if you're happy, to be able to do the figure of eight like we've done. All right, widen out your stance a bit with your feet. That'll help hopefully get us a good base of support. And we'll be able to then bring the ball around our legs as we go. Okay, working for 60 seconds and seeing how many we can get. After that, we're going to finish with our throw and our clapping drill. Okay, and seeing how many again. From a standing position, all right, how many times we can throw the ball up and clap in between and catch the ball. Okay, again, just be mindful of your standing up for low ceilings, lights, and everything else in between. Okay, so throwing the ball up. Again, keeping your eye on the ball. All right, making sure where our hands are underneath the ball, ready to catch it again as well. Okay. Increase the difficulty, we can get a few claps in. And again, that's for 60 seconds. Okay, so after those exercises, now we're going to do them on the move a wee bit. Okay, so hopefully you have enough room, whether it's in your living room, in the hall, out in the garden with the good weather. Okay, now we're going to get you to move around a wee bit more. So, all we're going to do. Holding the ball with two hands, we're just going to work on a few of the exercises that we've done before as we're walking. Okay, so we're going to walk out to a certain target or a certain point in front of us, and then we're going to perform the drill, perform the task, and walk back again. Okay, so for example, if the first one is going to be around your waist, I'm going to walk to a certain distance, put the ball around my waist three times, walk back to a starting position. Okay, if you've got anyone at home with you as well, all right, we can use that as a relay. So I can go, all right, give it to my partner, they can go, and then I can go again. Okay, again, we can do it, we can time ourselves for 60 seconds to see how many runs we can get, all right, of how many we've done. And again, competing with a partner or just competing against yourself. All right, the next drill then, okay, again, walk into that certain area, and then we're performing the task. The task is putting the ball around your leg. Okay, so we walk out, once we get to that target, or right, would like a staggered, staggered stance, and it just makes, the ball, makes it a lot easier to get the ball around your leg. Okay? So again, performing the task three times, returning to the same spot. After that, we're going to perform a throw and a catching drill again. And the exact same rules apply as the last two. Right, walking out, stopping, getting nice and controlled, throwing the ball up, getting as many claps in between, and then repeating that for three times and walking back to this place where we started. Okay, so we perform that for 60 seconds, see how many we get, or compete against someone else. Try and get as many runs in as we can. Okay, so from now, we're going to progress it on again. If you're comfortable, 
and you feel like you're happy enough to be able to walk out and perform the drill as you're walking, okay, then we're going to do this one. So as you walk, we're going to do the drill, do the task, get to a certain point, walk back again. Okay, so first of all, it's a ball around your waist, and we're going to perform that three times to walk out and just walk back in again. Okay, as simple as that. Alright, the next drill again is putting the ball around your leg. If you've got enough room, okay, we can perform more or you can regress it and do less. Okay, the first thing I'm about to walk into the fireplace so I can only do three. You turn and walk back again. Last drill for this exercise and of the whole thing is going to be throwing up and catching again. Okay, so we're doing it on the move. Okay, so making sure we're keeping our eye on the ball, but we're also aware of what's in front of us and what's around us, so we don't walk in or trip over anything else, okay? Ball in two hands, throwing the ball up, getting as many claps in between as we can. And returning to the point again. Okay, so again, as I mentioned before, try and time it for 60 seconds, do as many as you can, okay, and then keep that score, and either compete against yourself and do it again, or if you have somebody else, you can compete against them. All right, again, see how many you can do, or in this instance, it can be a race, so you can have your partner beside you, you can move out together, perform the drill, and see who gets back first, okay? So just have fun with it, see what you can do. If you feel like that you can move on and advance, do it. If you're happy just sitting down, or do it from a standstill or standpoint, then that's fine as well, okay? Thanks for watching, everyone.